So we're going to go straight to the fucking prank call, right? And I'm going to fucking call. Do you want to try this guy first? Yeah, right. I'm sort of got my heart set on calling this therapist, actually. I might call them first. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to call a therapist here in Brisbane. And as soon as they answer, I'm going to start spilling out my problems to the receptionist. That's the joke. <laughs> Thanks for holding. How can I help you today? Yes, so um, my name's um, Darren and um, like I've just been going through a bit of a rough patch and like... I keep like getting um, like um, anxiety and that, and like it stops me um, sleeping and that. And I was thinking like um, the other day, I think it's because like when I was younger and that, um, I saw like a uh, big old uh, big car crash like just right in front of me. And um, what what happened was right this um, chick driving, she had like a um, couple of babies in the back seat, and um, she like full like just. Uh, rear-ended some some other guy on a ute right and the babies they were all right like they they've fallen after but um i think just like the shock um of seeing the babies like shake around quickly like in their seats has just sort of um like it's just sort of like come up in my mind sometimes and um yeah it's just made me feel like um like 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 i'll get like angry and that like i'll i'll, I'll lash out or like the family dog and that and like I, I do lots of drawing and that, and I've been drawing like, like just not nice things. Like I've been tempted to draw like fire and like, um, there's like, what did I do the other day? I did like, um, was it like a yeah, like a naked lady, right? And she had like, um, like a cancer on her and that. So just not nice stuff. Do you know what I mean? So I was just wondering, um, like if you can help me with that. Okay, yep, I might have a psychologist that can help you. Um, so what was your last name? Darren Thompson. And like, yeah, like there's been other stuff too. Like um, obviously like I've been, um, you know, doing drugs and that on and off um, through like my 20s and um, sort of late 20s there. But um, I was, used to be fine. Like I'd pull up the next day and be fucking sweet, you know, bloody back on it. But these days it's like... It's like I'll have like a couple of bottles of like Jim Beam or something and then the next day I'm like, it's just fucking, I'm just in fucking pain. Like it's just bloody like torture, you know what I mean? Like, And it never okay. used to be like that. So I'm saying like I think like that 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 chick rear-ending that car with her kids in the back is like starting to like come out or something, you know what I mean? Like it's just I can't explain it proper, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, what was your date of birth? Yes, I'm a date of birth, 13th of the 9th, yep. 1987. Okay. And just your email address. So my email is darren.thompson. Is that Thompson, T-H-O-M-P-S-O-N? Yeah, that's it, mate. Yep. Underscore 69. Underscore legend, L E G. L E N D yep. at hotmail.com. Okay. And just your mobile number? Yeah, sure. My mobile number is 0404 2169. Yep. 69. Okay. And um, would you say that. Um you're struggling with any addictions at the moment? Oh, I don't know if it's like like addiction and that, but um, like I, I do like to get on it. You know what I mean? Like come Friday, Friday night, Saturday night. Like I'm usually on it, but like I'm not like I'm not like dying for it. Do you know what I mean? But it's just hard to get up in the mornings now. Like I'll have, I'll get on it, and then next day I'm like bloody like f- fucking like just lying flat in that, feeling sick. You know, I'll have like, yeah. Yeah, you know, I'll feel like nausea or something like, like and I've just had like, you know, a bottle of, bottle of Jim Beam, whatever. But like, I used to get through them, no worries at all. But I, f- I think because I'm like suppressing that, that where I witnessed that car accident and those kids were like full, like, like shaking, you know, like they were like, like a massive whiplash, like what their little, one was like, like maybe a year old and it's just little heads just went fucking pop. It's fucking like, 
It's fucking crazy to see. Yeah. It's crazy. They're fine. They're completely fine. Like, not a scratch on them and that, but like, it's just like, it's just shocking. You don't, you don't, you don't plan to yeah. see a baby's head move like that. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's just not in your mind. And then when you see it, it's like, fucking hell. Like, geez, it's fucking, it's intense. You know what I mean? Two, two. Do you, um, because our psychologist Gerhard, he's got some available next Wednesday. He's got an 8.30 or an 11 a.m. What about you? What, when, what time is you available, darling? Because I feel like, like I, don't, I don't know, like I'm not like weirdo or nothing, but I feel like we've got a bit of a um, connection going. And I wouldn't mind maybe just sitting down having a chat with you and sort of just laying all my cards out on the table and telling you all about like my childhood and that, which wasn't too bad. I'll be honest with you. It wasn't my childhood. Not too bad. Two very loving parents. One of them's a priest, right? One was a nurse. Like before, went to like public school and that. Like had a pretty good life, you know. So, other than that car crash, there's not too much I can think of. Yeah. Um. Well, I'm I'm just a receptionist, so I mean, we can book him with one of the psychologists. Oh, did I call the wrong number? Did I? I thought I called the um psychologist in the city there. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah, so I can book in with one of the um, psychologists. So, so you aren't available. You can't. You can't do any of the uh, interrogations. No, I just take the phone. I just take the phone calls. Yeah, and um, so I wrote wrote everything down and then pass it on to the right, 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 right. Um, yeah, Wednesday. right. All right. Well, um, like, what do you reckon? Like, um, what do you reckon they're gonna say? Like, when I tell them this, because like, I don't want to like book in and then have them say like, oh, there's nothing wrong with you, mate. Like. Hard enough no, or something. they wouldn't say that. They wouldn't say that. They'd um they'd talk to you about different things that you could do, or um, maybe you just need to talk to someone professional and just have them sort of listen to you and everything. Or maybe um, like I was thinking like, what if I go like just hang out with other babies? Like if I go like maybe a daycare center or something, just be around them again. Like see them, see them yeah. when their heads aren't doing that, like that flick thing that it did, and just be around yeah, them and just. And like, and just hold one, maybe like I could hold one, and like just like cradle it and that, just to show me like that their heads don't always move like that, you know? It's real sick. Yeah, yeah, possibly they might get you to do something like that. Yeah, um, that's what I was thinking. Anyway, so do you have a mental health care plan from your doctor? No, no, never, never seen doctor. Nothing about it. Nothing like that. I've only just bloody googled it two minutes right. ago. Here we are, bro. <laughs> Two. Okay, so the. Full fee is $255. All right, fuck that. I've got to go. 250 fucking dollars? <laughs> they are scamming Mr. Thompson. How dare you? You <laughs> miss out on such good shit. <laughs> Man, it was so. <laughs> 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 You've got trauma from babies flicking around. <laughs> 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 Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. Thank you very much. 